Well, I'm Sarah Cadman. I'm the uh, guider in charge of the 60th Cardiff Guides. We meet in Rubina and we're part of Cardiff and East Glamorgan Guide County. So, yeah, so about a year ago I was uh, approached by one of our county commissioners in guiding to see whether this unit would be prepared to pilot a new badge for guides called the Digital Hero Badge and that was in partnership with Digital Communities Wales. Okay so um, within guiding and within um, guides there are several interest badges that the girls can complete and um, sometimes they do them on their own and sometimes they're done in their patrols their groups or as a whole unit um, and this one is one that we decided we would do as a whole unit any badge that is uh, endorsed by girl guiding uk will have a syllabus to it which um, has a number of clauses sometimes depending on the badge sometimes that could be up to five that could be up to ten so with this badge a syllabus had been devised by um, members of the county I believe in partnership and we decided as a guide unit following a, a meeting with um, Matt from Digital Com uh, Communities Wales um, that we would target a particular group of the community um, and that was after a discussion with the girls around who they thought might benefit from um, our intervention in terms of uh, their digital heroism. When we said we would offer to pilot this, um, well actually I asked the girls, they all were really keen to do that. Matt came to see us and um, gave us a presentation um, just talking about who had access to the internet in Wales, for example, how much the internet um, can affect life or not. Um, following that, then we went through the syllabus and we decided that we would um, target members of the Trefoil Guild, which is a part of Girl Guiding um, for anyone aged over 18. Um, but our local Trefoil Guild has quite a few retired members of Girl Guiding within it. So we asked them if they would be interested in learning more about how they could use the internet to help them in their day-to-day -day life. They said they would be interested. And from then we had several planning meetings um, as a whole unit to look at what we might show those people, how we would get them here, um, what sorts of things we would look at. Uh, what information that they might need to think about. So, for example, uh, one of the clauses within the syllabus was about internet safety. So they needed to think about, for example, um, not giving their full names, being clear about whether they were wearing logos, for example, so they weren't giving away their um, identity without realising it. We also talked about things like using passwords online or um, how you might use chat rooms, for example. Um, trolling on social media came up. Um, this was all from the girls, they were, they were really well into it. Um, from that then, we devised an evening. Um, we invited the members of Trefoil Guild to come along and they decided they would have four bases, each one looking at something different. So um, we looked at YouTube, we looked at um, Google and other search engines, we looked at email and we looked at social media, particularly Facebook. It went really well, they really enjoyed it, the girls were really, really um, interested and re were really spending um, you know, a good amount of time trying to explain what they meant and how things worked. They were incredibly patient actually um, and the uh, women who came to that session gave really positive feedback, so they'd really enjoyed it, had learnt a lot um, and I think a couple of them had set up their own Facebook accounts then as well um, and uh, just, just find out a lot more about how they could use their various uh, uh, use the internet but use the iPads, the laptop, the phones etc. One of the things that we encouraged the girls to think about after we'd had this evening was how they could think about um, who else that they might um, involve in social media and internet etc. And a few of them talked about grandparents particularly. Um, I think where, where we are most of them do access the internet quite regularly at home via school. Most parents are on email etc. Um, so it's a fairly normal thing for them a day to day. But um, a number of them have talked about grandparents um, not being very um, uh, media savvy then um, in a digital sense um, and then we did start to have some conversations about where else we might think about in the future uh, whether or not we ever manage this but um, they talked about possibly nursing homes we talked about how um, uh, IT is being used way more in dementia care um, and 
even started to talk about apps on phones and um, iPads, etc., that um, could be used a bit more for people who would, would have cognitive impairment. So we piloted the badge. It went down really well. It had really good feedback. The girls really enjoyed it. And so we passed on to Girl Guiding Cardiff and East Glamorgan, our guiding county, that it had been a success. Um, and as I understand it, that syllabus is now available for guides across Wales to access and to complete the badge as well. So when we had the introduction evening, we talked about what the badge might look like. Um, and uh, Matt had come up with a bit of a protocol, a, a prototype rather, um, and had discussed that with Julie Miles, our county commissioner. And the girls had a look and said yay or nay. And we sort of came up with the idea that the trefoil, the guiding trefoil would look good as an icon, as if it were an app icon with on, on the um, uh, iPad. To like um, do online shopping and social media and um, show them how to set up their email. I enjoyed getting them online because they didn't really know about that so we enjoyed educating them in that area. We helped like mainly elderly people who don't really know much about technology such as people from the church and the church. And they could interact with their family who they don't see and they, they live quite far away. My mum. She just doesn't know anything. Phones. My granddad, because he always asked my mum to order his stuff on like internet, so he could do it for himself. I probably do my grandparents because they don't really know it and they always ask like their neighbours or us how to set up their certain accounts or less or um, just how to Google certain things. We had to help elderly people by like helping them understand the internet and how to email, do online shopping and communication. So, and then and then we just wanted them to understand so they could be able to contact family members far away. It was quite fun watching the um, ladies reacting being surprised and kind of confused as well as but we taught them as we go going along and watching them and like learn more is quite fun. Well we helped elderly people who were in the Trefoil Guild um, and it was really fun to see how surprised they were that we could teach them loads of things that they didn't know before. I'd like to help my nan get online because she invests in all these different types of technology, but she doesn't really know how to use them. I maybe like to help my grandma just learn how to do like FaceTime because I don't think she does, and then she'd be able to communicate with my family better. I'd like to teach my grandparents because they think that the internet is just a huge waste of time, but like teach them how it's actually good for communication and 